Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is part three of my little travel thrifting series. Right now I'm in Pendleton, Oregon, which is super fun. It's actually a really cute town and we're headed back home to Utah today. Of course, I couldn't pass through another state without trying a little bit of their thrifting. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm sitting outside a thrift store called People Helping People Pendleton. Yeah, we're just gonna head in. I'm gonna take you thrifting with me. We're gonna see what we can find. I feel like it's a little too on the nose to think that I might find something Pendleton related in Pendleton, Oregon, but then at the same time, it's also like, what better place to find something like that? Of course, before we head in though, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday and they're always vintage and thrift and style related. So if you're into any of that or if you end up liking today's video, you'll love the rest of my content. So make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, without further ado, I think we're just gonna head into the thrift store. I'm here with my husband. Obviously we're road tripping home together. So yeah, let's head into People Helping People Pendleton. I just walked in and already found two really cute things. So let me show you. And also everything is 50% off today so double score this is what i'm most excited about is this 90s silver top i wanted something like this for so long h&m has made like kind of knockoffs like this but obviously don't really support h&m because they're not sustainable but this is like an amazing silver like y2k 90s top and i'm obsessed and it looks like it'll actually fit me so that i am definitely getting because that was like such a cool find i also found this cute cropped pink adidas hoodie I'm gonna get this because I've been wanting more kind of like basics or easy to layer kind of sporty pieces like this just good comfort but cute and this one's a really pretty shade of pink and it's five dollars so 50% off it's only 250 so I'm gonna go through the rest of the clothes now it looks like they might have some really good pieces here so let's go first Pendleton piece I've seen here it's a blazer which I don't usually wear that one is pretty though it could be worth trying on it's a size 14 so it'll probably be too small on me um, but that is cute. I'm just not a blazer girl, but I want to be, I don't know, maybe worth trying on. Maybe there's like a mirror. I'll throw it in for now and just try it on in a second. Amazing glittery pink Wrangler top. Tiger stripes. What the freaking heck? This is incredible. I didn't even know Wrangler made things like this. Absolutely freaking lutely gonna get this. Like, what the heck? That is such a cool, like retro top i don't know if it's actually vintage or not but it's giving 90s i love that found this really cool suede fringe vest it's way too small for me but i think i'm gonna get it for my grandma it's definitely something i feel like she would love and if she ends up not liking it i can probably throw it up in my shop but that's just such a cool vintage find i love fringe and obviously red leather is iconic so definitely getting that see if my grandma wants it time to go through all these racks now they even have it organized by size which is really cool which i wasn't expecting but that makes it easy so let's go through this kind of a fun tropical button up i'm definitely tempted by it but i think i'm gonna leave it here because i don't know if i'd see myself wearing it but it's a really cool hot pink i love that totally getting this vintage two-piece set so it's like this really cute plaid button up and then either shorts or a skirt let's hope for shorts amazing shorts this just made the whole thing worth it these are so cute the prettiest pastel plaid matching set absolutely I'm gonna take this and run because you guys know I love a vintage set, especially like tropical and summery. Cute yellow Banana Republic button up. Not quite my style, but I think that is actually very cute. It's like a really nice fabric too. If it was a little bit bigger and I thought it could fit me, I might take a chance on it, but it's not really my style and I don't think it's my size either, but that is so fun. There's so many good vintage pieces here. This is like a 90s, 2000s like dolphin glittery t-shirt. I think I need to get that too, that's so fun. Like literally everything is an adorable, colorful vintage top. It's so hard to decide like what's worth getting and what's not. Cute, fun, not my style, but I love those colors, that's really cute. Another adorable vintage top. There's so many, like every cute vintage button up I swear is here. Like look at how cute that is. Hoping to find another two piece set, like the next good vintage two-piece set could be just around the corner. That's a two-piece set, but that's a skirt and a button-up top. It is really cute, but I'm not really into denim as much these days. So cute, pink and white stripe button-up. I don't know, babe, do you think I should get this? Yeah. It's really cute, actually. 
I'd be worried it wouldn't fit, but it looks like it will. I don't know, vote. Vote in the comments right now. Should I get this? Fun and interesting vintage sweater. I could actually see someone styling this up really cool. It's not quite me, but that's a really fun, kind of like abstract, but also animal print. I love that it's glittery too. Oh, that is so cute. J. Crew top with all these hearts. Perfect for Valentine's. Leaving it here, but very fun. I don't know, it's so cute though, but I'm gonna leave it here. I don't need it. Adorable vintage Colorado. Sure, I love the graphics on these vintage tees. They're always so fun. Like, ugh, oh, so cute. I don't know what the Great Wolf Lodge is, but I'm kind of tempted to get that because that's a cool graphic, but uh, some really cool t-shirts here. This would be a really cute basic for me. Pretty pastel yellow. These are some really good tops for just like tucking into retro vintage skirts, so I might get that too. I need to figure out what everything costs here, but we're throwing it in for now. Pendleton blazer, sadly too small, but actually so cute. Like if this was my size, I'm probably just lying because it doesn't fit, but like I would get this. Amazing, chunky, oversized burgundy cardigan. I want to get it because I love these chunky cardigans, but this color's not my favorite and we're also kind of getting to the end of winter. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I agree. I should get it or no? Yeah. Which one? I'm gonna be strong and leave it here. I've got too many good cardigans. I don't need a burgundy one, although it is really fun, but I'm gonna leave it here. The one that got away. Another vintage two-piece set. I don't love the top, but it comes with shorts. So I'm gonna get it because any chance I have to get plus size vintage shorts for myself, I'm gonna take because they're not super easy to find. And these are such a pretty royal blue kind of purple color. And I'm, I honestly don't hate the top. I don't know if I see them together but it's such a cute color, I have to. I found this really cute coach crossbody and I'm debating if I want it or not. I know a lot of people think these embossed ones or like branded ones are super tacky, but I think it's cute. What do you think, babe? Cute. I like how long the strap is. Like, I feel like this would be a really easy throw on bag. Oop. I don't know, I'm gonna debate on this one, but it's like a good size and a good like crossbody for travel so it might be worth it okay i think we've done a pretty good sweep of the store so now we're gonna go through the cart and decide what we are and aren't getting look at how cool this is babe gonna get that i think i'm gonna get everything except for the pendleton blazer look how fun that is that is so fun all right we made it out of the people helping people thrift store and holy bananas it was amazing when they say people helping people like i'm sure they mean a charity but also like they really helped me out with all the good things that were there <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're going to one more thrift store before we leave pendleton we really need to get home back to utah but after that thrift store i'm kind of like what else do they have to offer here in pendleton so we're going to one other one that we drove past on the way to this one i don't remember what it's called but uh it looks like kind of similar this one definitely uh, that we're going toward was like on a main street so it might be a little bit more organized kind of like a plato's closet or a buffalo exchange um but we'll see i'm super excited so we'll see you at the next thrift store in pendleton see ya the first one was a total success like i am gutted that i had to leave so quick but there's always next time I'm tempted to get the Shein top, but am I gonna get chemically poisoned? Yeah, let's put it back. It's so cute, but yeah. I'm not trying to get toxined today. What? This looks so sick, dude. That's amazing. Definitely getting that. the next day all right peeps i am back home now i'm back from oregon i feel like you could probably tell through the video but this is genuinely 
the best thrift trip of my entire life. I know I've said that multiple times in multiple videos, not only for the amazing vintage pieces I was able to find, but also for like the price of everything. I literally, as I got home, was like looking for apartments in Pendleton because I was like, not just because of the thrifting, but it was a really cool town. <laughs> If anyone else here is from Pendleton or currently lives in Pendleton or lives nearby or if any of you are from Oregon comment down below let me know I'd love to say hi it was so fun seeing how many of you are from Washington and Idaho so if you are a Oregon person or a Pendleton person comment down below let me know I would love to say hi so it was really cool I can't wait to go back someday it was amazing if you're ever in that area definitely definitely stop by Pendleton is a magical city magical thrifting so yeah there is so much to get through like the stack I'm looking at is this high so we're just gonna get right into it first I guess starting off with this hoodie I'm wearing so this is what I got from the people helping people thrift store so there was just like general blanket pricing for regular pieces and then they had picked out some clothing items that were a little bit nicer or maybe fancier and had actually priced those so I think the shirts there were all like 25 cents literally like I think they were a quarter so this was originally five dollars and I got it for two dollars and fifty cents and I am absolutely absolutely in love with the way this fits like look at how cute I look in this don't we love it but this is like a pink cropped hoodie it looks cute with these pants I just needed some more casuals or cozy items that I could also style up so I'm very happy with this two dollars and fifty cents this is the first day I'm wearing it and I could see myself wearing it every day, especially because it's cropped and pink. So yeah, definitely a good find. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> so now we're gonna get into the rest of what I thrifted. Um, some of it is for my Etsy shop. But one thing I've already kind of gotten rid of that I purchased was the leather fringe vest. So I purchased it for my grandma because it was a size small, way too small for me, but it was like a beautiful red color with fringe all the way around. And one thing to know about my grandma is she's obsessed with fringe and Western wear and she absolutely loved it. It fits her perfectly. Luckily, I did get a picture of her. So here's a picture of what the vest looks like on her and she loves it. So first is this beautiful 90s floral button up dress. If you're a fan of my channel or if you've shopped my shop before, I pick up dresses like this all the time because I think they're just so fun. I have a couple very similar to this myself. Just like these kind of like loose, flowy, floral 90s dresses that are so easy to dress up or down. So this one is in my shop now. It's a beautiful bright yellow color with all these floral patterns. But this one is just adorable, perfect in time for spring. Imagine wearing this with like some white tennis shoes and then cute yellow socks, something like that. Here's what the back looks like. I think it's just adorable. Like I said, I have a couple like this. I have a brown one like this and a blue one like this. I just think these are so timeless and easy to style, especially because they are a little bit looser and free flowing. So if you want, you can belt them or cinch them in a little bit, or you can just wear them casually like this with a tote bag at a farmer's market would be an absolute look. So this one is available now in my shop. Okay, I was gonna save this towards more of the end because it's literally one of the best things I got, but I just had to show it because it's too good. I told you you guys weren't ready. I don't know if I showed this to you in the thrifting portion or not, but holy freaking cow, this is a vintage Wrangler top, but it's glittery pink tiger print with rhinestones as buttons. Like, can we just, obviously not with these pants, pretend like I'm wearing something cuter, but like, isn't this the best top you've ever seen? And I got this for 25 cents. Like, legitimately 25 cents for the most amazing top I've ever thrifted in my life. It's giving Hannah Montana. I didn't even know that Wrangler made things like this, but isn't it cute? Um, it's a little bit longer. I had it pulled up because I'd probably tuck it in in real life, but like, can we just, I think I need to move to Pendleton because I mean, if this is the kind of thing I'm gonna find in that kind of town, like glittery, extra bougie cowboy wear, um, yeah, I'm gonna live there. Here's what the buttons look like. Like I said, they're like little rhinestones. Like this is definitely something I probably would have purchased at Limited too. 
in like 2002. <laughs> All right, next is this vintage golf sweatshirt. As much as I love it, I am gonna throw it up on Etsy. I have so many good vintage sweatshirts already, so I need to cut myself off somewhere, but I thought I'd model it for you. This is like a classic 90s print. It's got a really cool like logo on the front that says golf with some fun 90s geometric shapes. And then of course, chef's kiss cherry on top is the collar. We love a vintage sweatshirt with a collar. And I just think that's so fun, like a little golf moment. So perfect if you're into golf or if you're just into the aesthetic, like let's be honest, I would wear this and I'm not into golf like at all. Next is this sweatshirt. This one is another just like cute vintage sweatshirt. This one is a waffle knit with a really pretty kind of like cottage core floral embroidery on the chest. I actually love that it's waffle knit because I feel like waffle knit is getting so popular. Not that it ever wasn't popular, but I've seen so many sustainable brands recently come out with waffle knit pieces. So it's definitely on my radar lately. Here's the graphic again, just like a really cute cottage core kind of style. Switching up the aesthetics, I got this t-shirt from that second thrift store. I love this. I feel like most of us, if not all of us, love of just like a good epic hardcore t-shirt and I'm sure I'll get clowned on for saying that but like it doesn't matter what your aesthetic is obviously I love colorful things I love rainbows but at the end of the day we all just want an oversized t-shirt with the Grim Reaper walking a bulldog what this t-shirt is i'm so excited when i found this i was freaking out my husband is making fun of me for it because he's like it's such a corny shirt but that's what's cool like remember when at walmart they used to just sell these really weird random t-shirts that were also really cool like these are just these are a staple in any wardrobe everyone needs like one kind of like kooky epic t-shirt i have already worn this a couple times with my cargo pants that are super loose and my camo crocs not because i really think it's even that good looking it's just a mood the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't let me know down below if you get it i think this was like a dollar or something okay i know i just said this about my wrangler shirt that i just showed you but if i could only keep one piece from this whole haul it would absolutely be this silver like 90s 2000s button up i have been looking for something like this for so long at the thrift store and i finally found it i think this one was also like 25 cents i actually think it's cooler worn unbuttoned than buttoned just because it gives that like really cool relaxed vacation vibes and i don't know i'm so here for it i just think these tops are so cool how shiny this is i'm gonna have to wear this next new year's eve very like xenon girl of the 21st century vibes zoom 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 that kind of thing cute vintage pieces for my Etsy shop. Like I told you, I found so many cute vintage sweatshirts. This one is also kind of another cottage core style one. Some may say a little more grandma core. Either way, so cute. It's got the double collar and then embroidered on the chest. I think our pansies, I wanna say. Like throw this on with a cute pair of jeans and some white sneakers and that's a whole fit. Like that is just so cute. I love that things like this are coming back into style or have been back in style because they're so fun. This is quite possibly one of the best sweatshirts I have ever thrifted. I find sweatshirts similar to this at the Goodwill outlet near me all the time, but a lot of time they've got bleach stains or holes or they're just destroyed, but this one is in pretty much mint condition. It's got the most beautiful, colorful floral pattern. It's also like semi lightweight, so you could even wear this into the warmer months of spring. Here's what the pattern looks like up close. It's like the 90s puff paint floral garden i i love this we all know the kind of person who would wear this and i stand that kind of person it's also a really pretty eggplant color so it's just really fun and unique and like i said i don't find them in this condition very often especially if you wore like a white button up underneath to give it the collared look would be so so adorable so this was the last piece that i found at that second thrift store this is a sweatshirt slash cardigan full of birds i'm obsessed it was like a very last minute find this one's a nice cotton cardigan with birds printed all over so we've got some here on the chest printed down there near the pocket and then one little last bird on the back there so adorable again playing into that kind of like grandma core you could wear this over a button up or a fun t-shirt or a plain t-shirt and just have like a cool statement piece i think 
printed cardigans are definitely more rare. I've sold a couple in my shop, but I don't see them too often. And I definitely think there needs to be more because they're so fun and unexpected. Next, I got this butter yellow button up from the People Helping People thrift store. This was 25 cents. Obsessed with this find. I have almost this exact same button up in a pastel pink color and I wear it all the time and I'm definitely glad to have found this because I love wearing these kind of vintage retro button ups with either my vintage skirts or my retro skirts like a circle skirt in this and it gives you just like an instant 50s or 60s look and especially when they're a little bit more neutral like not patterned they're so much easier to style up so I'm excited to have this yellow one I don't have a lot of yellow in my wardrobe but like obviously even this matches kind of the pants that I'm wearing one last sweatshirt that I found from the second thrift store is this one this one I actually picked up for my sister but I definitely had to get this one for her because she looks great in yellow first of all and second her nickname that she's had since like my entire life is B but not like B-E-A like B-E-E -E, like Bumblebee so I had to get it for her we all still call her B so it's got the stun flowers and all the bees but my literal favorite part is right here on the collar there is a bee embroidered which is pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen Next, I picked up this 2000s Y2K Dolphin t-shirt. I had to get this. It's not the sort of thing I normally gravitate toward, but it totally reminded me again of something I would have gotten at Limited 2. I think it's so fun. The dolphins are also sparkly as well. So it just adds that kind of like youthful, nostalgic vibe to everything. But I'm actually not keeping this one for myself. I'm gonna throw it up in my shop. Here's what the graphic looks like. Again, it's that sparkly dolphin print. Probably something you would have purchased like on a cruise or like near SeaWorld, somewhere in Florida, like a 90s, 2000s vacation. Next, I picked up a couple of two-piece sets. Um, you guys know these are my favorite things to thrift. I love wearing them together and separate. This one was from the People Helping People. I actually think both of them are. Um, this one is just like a really pretty plaid. I think the shorts will be fun to wear just like with some of my Big Bud Press t-shirts in the summer. And then of course a fanny pack. But I also think there's something cute about wearing them together. So this one was like 50 cents, a dollar. And this is your reminder, start thrifting for summer now. I know it's still cold in a lot of places. But if you wait until summer, all the good things are going to be gone, especially shorts. Here is the second two-piece set. I actually like this one a lot more than I did. I originally just got it for the shorts because I thought they were really fun, kind of like purple, royal blue color. And the top was definitely not something I would have thought I would worn. Hang it on now, I'm kind of in love. Like, it's definitely more of an old person top rather than like a cute vintage top. But tucked in, it's not half bad. I also picture this as something maybe like Hillary Clinton would wear in the summer. <laughs> it's kind of giving those vibes. Oh, don't hate me. Um, but here's the top. Okay, actually, I'm kind of living. It's kind of giving like manic pixie dream girl Zoe De Chanel a little bit, kind of like pantsuit playsuit moment. Um, they've got the loosest fit and the nicest, like deepest pockets. Um, the top isn't half bad now that I have it on. It feels a little stuffy, like looking at it off. But tucked in and on, it's not half bad. All right, now we've only got two pieces left. Um, both are gonna be in my Etsy shop, actually. So this, oh my gosh, the way that I wish this fits me, it makes me so sad. I think this definitely reminds me of something one of the characters in Pose would have worn. It's like a beautiful, bright blue with bedazzled jewels up the front. Like, look at how cool that is. It could definitely also be like some sort of Western moment. Like this with some white cowgirl boots would be adorable. I need to find something like this for myself now because it's so cool. But we all love a good vintage romper or a vintage jumpsuit or rompers and jumpsuits in general. They're just so easy. And this one is an iconic 80s one. Like white cowgirl boots with some fringe gloves or some really crazy costume jewelry type earrings would look stunning with this all right and then last but not least is this gorgeous 70s black and rainbow sweater dress so i originally thrifted this for myself thinking it was just a sweater but when i got it home i realized it has pockets here and it's actually a dress so it could be worn as a sweater or a dress i think it's meant for like a tween or like someone around 10 years old because the tag says little lisa but an adult could definitely wear this it's very stretchy like i would say up to an adult size medium probably a rainbow on its own is good but nothing's better than a 70s rainbow especially against the black looks so stunning yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video uh let me bring you in closer real quick one second 
Okay, sorry. I just wanted to sit real quick because I've been filming for like an hour and I'm tired. Um, but that's going to be it for today's video. Comment down below. Do you agree? Was this my greatest haul ever? I thought it was the perfect way to end off my little like mini travel thrifting series. Unfortunately, I don't have any plans as of right now to go on any other sort of trip or road trip, which makes me really sad because I've been loving thrifting in different cities. We also did Vegas in January, so it makes me sad. But comment down below, where should I come next? I so with that, if you want to support me and my content, you can check out my Etsy shop linked in the description box to shop the pieces in today's video and more and if you really love me and want to support me you can sign up for my patreon and right now my goal like my big dream on patreon is to hit 20 patrons slash subscribers and right now we're at 13 so i only need seven more people to join the patreon if you join i will appreciate it forever if you like my content if you want more or even if you don't want more but you're just like hey i really appreciate what she does and the work she puts into this feel free to sign up for my patreon you'll get bonus videos we're also going to be doing a live zoom call i think like almost a week from when this video comes out so if you want to talk to me on zoom um, we're going to be talking about thrifting and vintage. Sign up for the Patreon linked in the description box. But yeah, as always, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was that I thrifted. But yeah, other than that, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I'm so sad to see the, all this magical thrifting coming to an end, but hopefully there will be more soon. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.